Good morning, friends. Thanks for joining me this morning. I want to take some time and pull apart some of the concepts that I talked about yesterday in our vision message in terms of what I believe that God is calling us to go for as we are moving forward together. The whole idea of a house church is a church in a house. And I want to explore this for just a moment in terms of saying, so in the book of Acts, we see that that's the first sort of enfleshed group of people that are not there presently with Jesus. They are believers, they're disciples, they're a community of disciples, but they're meeting in a house. And so the disciples, after Jesus has, has died and rose again and ascended into heaven, they are in a house. And so that whole thing in Acts chapter 1 verse 13 talks about that they're in the upper room of a house. And that's where the, the disciples are meeting. And then in Acts chapter 2, the sort of the launch pad for the early church, the empowering point is uh, they're in a house. And it says that the house where they were, they were not in a church building. They were not in, a, in the temple porticos. They were in a house. And it says that they heard the sound of like a mighty wind. Now, when they say a mighty wind, we're talking about there's a hurricane in the house. It's like we're in my, my living room and there's a hurricane. We're hearing this, you know, crazy. This is happening in a house. And then it says that tongues of, that, that a, a ball of fire basically came down and separated. The, the, when we say tongues of fire, we're not talking about that. We're talking about that's what you call those little you know, fingers of fire that come up. That's the, the flames of fire. Those are called tongues. And so uh, that you see, they see this, this ball of fire come down and separate and kind of rest on each one of them. And then they start to pray in, they start to speak in a, in, in a language that they've never spoken in before. And this is all happening in a house, in a house. And that's the, the place where this all started, that the Spirit of God fell on a house where disciples were gathered. Think about that for a second. The Spirit of God fell on a house where disciples were gathered. That is, that's, I'm putting all my eggs in that basket. That's what we're expecting that God still wants to do, that God wants to to visit us in powerful, in meaningful, in connective, in beautiful ways. And he wants to do that when we're meeting together in the small, in these small house churches. Now, and we're calling them churches because really that's what's happening there. The church is not this big thing. It is this group of this ecclesia, this gathering of or community of disciples that when we are gathered, the Lord says he is present. And, and that's where the meat happens. That's where the, 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 the true growth happens. It, that's not just being just, you know, inspired on Sunday morning. It's the Spirit of God visiting us in a house. When Christ's followers gather together in a house, we can expect that powerful things are going to happen over time. Let me say that again. When Christ followers gather together in a house, in smaller groups, we can expect powerful things to happen by the Spirit's presence. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to have a fireball come or the sound of a mighty wind, but I'm also not saying that it won't happen because I, I think that we should expect God to do the unexpected because he's God. He's not in a box. He never has been a box. Even when we try to put him in a box, he knocks a box over. That God wants us to grow together in deep relationship in houses where believers, not believers, disciples gather to grow and to experience the life of God. This is just part of the rationale as we go. But I want to just say to you, we can expect that God is going to visit us in places where we weren't expecting that he would visit us in a home. Would you join me in this? I believe, and I know without a shadow of a doubt, I know that this is what God is calling us as a Springs community to walk into, that we need to elevate the importance of the small in, you know, to equal the importance of the large, and both of those things together are church. They're church together. One or the other are not church. They're church together. Thanks so much for joining me today. I love you. I'm walking with you in this, and I'm so grateful for you to God. Have a great day.